Hello everyone. Um, this is Nico from Homely Chat, and today we are going to talk about 0093 solution statement. The main purpose of this course is to learn the methods and techniques of share investment. It does not constitute any recommendations or trading tips. Any risk or profit is irrelevant to the company and myself. Trade at your own risk. Okay, so for today's course, there will be three parts. The first part is about the good news of solution, and the second part is about chat analysis of solution, and the third part will be about the recent operation strategy. Okay, so let's talk about the first part, some good news of solution. So actually, uh, here are so many good news about Avesian. So uh, we can see this one. So in the 2021 budget, financial budget, and uh, the government, they say they will use 3 billion ringgit for Avesian, right? And then uh, here is also a good news for the uh, company's tax. And then we all know here is also a good news that China and Malaysia sign a contract about that China gives priority to Malaysia for vaccines. So here are all good news. So what's the performance of these vaccine related stocks? So you know four charts, which one is which stock? This is 0093. This one is 7081. This one is 7148, and this chart is for 6998. So we can see actually, though there's so many good news, but vaccine related stocks, their performance is not so good as our imagination. Okay, so actually, we need to talk about the logic of this hot news. So there are two kinds of different logics. The first one is speculate in concept first, then speculate on performance. So this is the first logic. So we know uh, some US vaccine stocks have good performance, like uh, BioNewTek, etc. And uh, it is mainly about the acceptation of future performance, uh, like the future um, the company performance and uh, uh, it is said that from the end of this year to the beginning of next year the vaccine will be on the market that is so many good news will come out within several months so they are willing to uh, speculate in this kind of stocks so this is the first logic and then second logic I use another color the second logic is indirect speculation so what does it mean? Uh, let's take an example. For example, in financial speculation, the highest rise in financial stocks is not banks, but those non-bank stocks such as insurance company. So when we uh, speculate in vaccine, okay, maybe those non-vaccine stocks will have better performance for example those economic recovery themes so two logics and uh, you can decide which one you want to choose which direction you want to see so this is uh, the logics of good news so sometimes maybe we just focus on the concept on the uh, hot news itself but actually here is another speculation called indirect speculation okay and uh, let's talk about the chart analysis of 0093 solution if we see the chart pure candlestick what you can see okay you may think um, this chart just uh, is sideways or uh, is sideways and uh, it rises suddenly. <laughs> I cannot uh, know why it rises today and what I see I cannot trace high or I trace high but today I got trapped. So this is what normally people think about the share. Okay, so sideways and uh, it rises suddenly. Okay, um, but this is about feeling. If we add some knowledge, okay, so uh, when we talk about knowledge, we need to know what is trend. Here are two different types of trend. Okay, the first is 
we know when the price moves down and up, up and down, here will be some low point and those high points. So if we find the relationship between the low points, we find it's getting higher. And then the price goes up, break through the previous high point. So which means now the share is in uptrend. So we can say uptrend is higher low point and the higher high point. This is uptrend. And what is downtrend? Downtrend is okay, if you observe the high points, you find high points is getting lower. Okay, so price goes down and then it broken the previous low point. Okay, so now if you see the price, you will have two lower high points and the two lower low points. So this is the pattern of downtrend. Okay, so if we go back to the previous chart, okay, if we see this one and uh, how you judge the trend, because now we have some knowledge, okay, so here is high point, here is high point, okay, and uh, here is low point, here is low point. Does it mean uptrend? Does it mean uptrend? I, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> and uh, okay, if it's uptrend, why here cannot get a higher high point? So whether now it's still in uptrend or still in sideways, it will fall suddenly. So now we know if we have knowledge only, we still cannot make so sure about the development of the market. So if we add a tool, so now we have knowledge, we know what is uptrend and we add a tool. Okay, so this is a special indicator in Homely software. This indicator you can see here is an extra red band. So this is called BBE. This red band is medium uptrend, medium uptrend. So now you do not count by yourself. You know this chart is in medium uptrend. And this red band is also the medium support for the chart. Medium support. Okay, so now you will know, okay, when it breaks down, but it can go back. This is a support. Okay, like here, like here and here, all support from this red band. So this is what we know, but this is just about a direction. It's not very accurate about which point we should find an entry point. This is just a, a, a concept about uptrend. So if we use some indicator, it will be more easier for us to judge. Okay, and uh, if we want to uh, know whether the uptrend can uh, last for long, we need to know the secret of the trend. Okay, I think uh, many investors can see this chart every day, the whole market, how many retailers buy, how many local bankers buy, how many um, foreign funds buy. You can see this, right? And we can know. Okay, so here will be retailer, all what we see retail investors, retail investors and institutional investors. Local bankers and the foreign funds, they are, uh, they are institutional investors. So if we see, we find institutional investors, they can operate stock price. But retailers, retail investors, they cannot operate stock prices. So this is the difference, okay? And then among these two institutional funds, okay, we tell them apart to be bankers and hot money. Hot money includes uh, like foreign funds and uh, includes some other small institutions. So uh, bankers, they have a large amount of money and the foreign funds or what we say hot money, the amount of money is not as much as bankers. Okay, so the trading style is also different. Bankers, they are stable, okay? The style to push up is stable. And uh, hot money 
their trading style is enter fast and exit fast okay very fast so now we know in share market they will have retailers bankers and hot money and uh, actually as a retailer as a retail investors we cannot get this data of each share uh, which means you will not know uh, which share how much bankers in how mu much retailers in you will not know because we are individual we are retailers we cannot get the data but uh, our company can buy this data from Bloomberg so uh, we use this data do an indicator and it's called MCD so this is our special indicator uh, let's see this indicator here will be three colors green color yellow color and a red color so around this area the share is controlled by yellow color so if we see the price performance is just in sideways it does not uh, rise much nor fall much it's mainly in sideways and when green color increase when bankers is increasing you can see price starts to go down okay so for, for many investors maybe they want to catch bottom here but if you see there's so many bankers will you choose to catch bottom here maybe not right and then we can see gradually bankers in so after bankers in the share starts to rise much okay and especially the last day you can see retailers decrease a lot which is a good thing so this is about the uh, three different kinds of funds in share market we can use MCD to track them so if we see solution okay if we see solution we find when bankers comes in here is a rise when bankers comes in uh, comes again and here is a good rise but when green retailers and the yellow hot money mainly control the share the share is mainly in sideways it does not rise much nor fall much and uh, actually if we see uh, after this day retailers comes in and the bankers decrease but if you observe you will find bankers is above 25 you can see this line is 25 25 percent means bankers build position they still have some uh, uh, some position in the share and a 50 percent which means they can control the share and uh, above 75 will be highly controlled so you can see when the price goes down but there's still 25 percent of bankers in the share which means bankers they build position in the share okay so this is about solution and when this day you can see retailers decrease to zero and the bankers is higher than 50 so though this day is a dodgy but this day is a start of a uh, strongness of the share and uh, you can see this day still bankers above 50 but why price doesn't rise like here because we can see here a lot of retailers so they are different if your share has no retailer it will be better and uh, let's see next topic is about operation strategy of solution so after we see the midterm trend and the funds situation of the share we need to find our short-term entry and exit point so if we want to find short-term entry and exit point a point you need to use some short-term trend indicators for example this indicator you can see here a lot of white circles and the red circles so this indicator is called red and the white circles red and the white circles so its short name is rwc red and the white circle so the first red circle 
will be our entry point here, first red circle. So many investors may ask, okay, teacher, can I enter here? Can I enter here? Can I enter here? Okay, if you do not follow the indicator, then there will be no difference between that you have the indicator and you don't have this indicator. So the first red color is our entry point. And in the future, if you can see the first white circle, it will be our exit point. So this is about the short term operation. And if you want to trade, for example, in 60 mini chart, in 30 mini chart, which depends on you, you can also use red and white circle, this indicator, and the usage is the same. And uh, uh, is there anything we need to pay attention? Uh, yes, we can see here is a yellow circle, right? A yellow candlestick. This candlestick is called Tai Chi. Tai Chi. We know in uh, Chinese philosophy, there are two extremes. It's called Yin and Yang. Yin means extreme negative and Yang means extreme positive. But extreme positive may not be a good thing because it's easy to turn to Yin. Uh, it's easy to be negative. So uh, this is about philosophy. But what we need to know is here is an alert. This yellow candlestick because it's extreme positive, too positive to be good. And uh, we can uh, we can draw a uh, draw two lines. They are the highest point and the and the here is the lowest point you can see the second day price breaks down the lowest point and then it is short term uh, alert and in the future the highest price of this yellow line will be a future resistance so you can see resistance and a resistance but now it has break through this resistance. So in the future, here is a support. And we should pay attention to the change of trend, short term trend, and the change of funds, uh, bankers. So this is about what we need to pay attention for short term strategy. That's all for today. And uh, this is Homely Cha. Our investment philosophy is index first, stock next. Long term first, short term next. Operator familiar. If you like this video and then you want to see more video, please subscribe Homely Chat Malaysia. Thank you.